In his familiar spot at the far end of the stakes barn at Pimlico, D. Wayne Lucas sits and observes, just like he's been doing for decades. I enjoy this. This is always good. I've been sitting in this chair for 42 years. I ran the first one in 1980. There's some strategy behind his placement. I can scout the opposition. It'd be like sharing the locker room before the Super Bowl. The 86-year-old Hall of Fame trainer vying for his record-tying seventh Preakness win. His entrant this year, the Philly secret oath. When she gets to a horse, if you ask her, she gets past them quick. She accelerates. That makes her very, very tough to beat. The Philly in the race adds a lot of charisma and a lot of excitement. The other thing is it's a smaller field. That helps us a lot. When they get down to eight or nine horses, I think the race becomes more positive, more fair. And not among the nine Preakness horses this year, the Kentucky Derby winner, Rich Strike, not at Pimlico, not running on Saturday. The surprise Derby winners team opting to skip the Preakness for the betterment of the horse. The two weeks in between races, just too short. Lucas thinks it could be time to change the Triple Crown schedule. Well, it's hard to overcome traditions. The Derby is locked in, but this if this thing was run on Memorial Day, I think it would be a larger field and maybe a more competitive field and you might get more of the derby horses. So if you ran this one on Memorial Day and maybe ran the Belmont on the 4th of July, I think it would make a lot more sense. Until that happens, Lucas will just keep his usual spot at the Stakes Barn reserved for this time each May. At Pimlico, Sean Stepner, WMAR2 News. Secret Oath's morning line odds are 9-2 to two for this Saturday.